the program was centered around uh, trying to drive demand in local energy efficiency markets um, by uh, using community engagement and uh, turning that demand into uh, local high road green jobs for people who need them most here in Washington, D.C. So we're going to really get in there and we're going to create jobs for people because the volunteer energy assessment is a great first step to home weatherization. What you're going to do is educate homeowners on what weatherization looks like. What does it mean for their home to be leaking energy? What is home energy performance? We're looking to have three to four of them weatherize homes, which means that will take 9 to 15 cars off the road in equivalents of CO2 emissions. So you're on the path to not only understand your community and educating homeowners, but also creating jobs for people in the D.C. area. For the GW Freshman Day of Service, Weatherize D.C. and George Washington uh, paired up to conduct uh, 11 volunteer energy assessments in the Glover Park neighborhood and follow up with those individuals to encourage them and help them along the process uh, towards weatherizing their home. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Nice to meet you. My name's Gay. John. Hey, John. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Students were trained to conduct volunteer energy assessments and uh, went into the community, walked through individuals' homes, uh, educated them about how their home was using and losing energy, and discussed with them about how they can make uh, their homes more efficient, helping the environment and also helping create jobs here in DC. Is this your room? Yeah. Cool. I like it. Are you, does your room get cold? No. Does it get too hot? Ever? No. No? Oh, that's good. Looks like you have really good windows. As we know, heat rises in a home. And uh, one of the most typical um, areas where heat rises is between the second floor and the attic from a, a, a space where you're paying to heat to a space that is unconditioned and very cold. Um, so there are many places uh, where hot air escapes into the cold air in the home. Uh, one of those is actually in the attic hatch. Something we can think about is zipping. Exactly, yeah, that, yeah, I forgot about There's something called an attic hatch tent, I believe. It doesn't allow air to travel through. It's actually one of those little do-it-yourself things that will actually make your, your needle tick, you know, the, how, make the, the energy use needle tick. Weatherization is really the lowest hanging fruit. In Northwest DC, every weatherization would be like taking uh, three cars off the road uh, for a year. These George Washington students developed a relationship with the homeowners that day. And coming away from the freshman day of service, that's what's going to have the biggest impact. That homeowner might remember that scientific fact about uh, how energy moves through the house. They might not remember that though. What they will remember is the passion and enthusiasm of the students that were in the house. And that more than anything, it's that energy that will encourage people to move ahead in this process.